Yo, 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 what's happening, boys? Baby, baby. How y'all doing? Today's gonna be a good day for us, hopefully. It's gonna be a sort of quick stream, though. I'll be straight with you, man. Um, do you have big towers? Fantastic question. Oh, L and J 787 Wonderful. Thank you, man. That is such a weird thumbnail. Or, or a picture, or an avatar, or whatever. Is it a pumpkin? Is it... Is it a penguin with three, uh, three eyebrows? What? I don't know what he is. And a bow tie? That's so weird. It's got to be from something, but I love it, man. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, uh, to start off, um, we're going to make it happen for you guys. So, there is a new secret achievement that we have to unlock for you guys. We got it 90% done. <laughs> what? Why, how, when, where, and everything else. Liam Cards! Thank you, my man. Do I like your picture? What does that say? Learn cans. I don't know what it... Oh, does that say Liam Cards? Oh, okay. I got it. I got you, dude. I do. I like your pick, man. Thank you. It's hard to read. You guys got such tiny little things, man. I gotta, like, <laughs> like zoom in or something like that. Oh, it's the Penguin from Brawl Stars. Jack, too! Oh, my God, right from the get-go. You guys are just absolutely beautiful today, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you guys how to uh, unlock. This is going to be super fun, guys. Today, the goal is uh, to show you guys how to unlock big towers. It's very simple. All you have to do is hop into any game here. What I recommend doing, though, is because you have to do it ten times... Uh, you should hop into any games that give you bonus rewards, especially, you know, uh, earn some candies, man. Why the heck not? Just plan it easy, plan standard. We're going to make it go really, really quickly. Uh, and all you want to do is you want to build two towers. All right, you're going to build a heli pilot. Boop. There we go. There he goes. Lock him in place right there. And let the game roll. Let the game ride, man. That's all it is. What's shining? Is there something shiny over here? Oh, my goodness. Don't scare me like that, man. Don't scare me like that. So it's actually really easy. Uh, all we have to do to unlock big towers is uh, beat any map ten times using only big footprint towers. Um, some people recommend deflation. That is fine, but it is faster to play through an easy 1 to 40 than it is to play through a 30 to 60. So if you want to be completely hands-off, you can do deflation. You can kind of upgrade some things. But I would say it's even easier to do easy. I would highly recommend it, guys. Because uh, all you got to do is pop down one heli pilot, kind of wait about a minute or two, pop down your hero, wait a couple minutes, and then pop in and get your uh, heli pilot upgraded. Once you get a heli pilot and a, a hero, Churchill or uh, Churchill like this, it's easy peasy, man. You can take these down. So we're already 10 rounds in, man. It's delicious. And again, thank you guys so much, man. I thank you guys all so much for the support. You guys are wonderful, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really couldn't do it without you guys. I really couldn't. You guys are fan freaking tastic, man. I love y'all. I really do. You guys are great. Okay. I don't. I don't know if I sound sincere, but it's true. Okay. So uh, it is a little bit boring, though. Believe it or not, uh, we do have to chill. You know what? I think I might be able to make this a little faster if I. There we go. Got to minimize everything else, man. Get rid of everything that's not uh, the game here. Even Discord gone. You're gone here, man. That's how girlie's doing, man. Azili is the best late game hero. <laughs> alright, alright. That's fair. I would say now with the recent change to Wizards, she might be not just the best late game hero, but actually a good chimps or impossible, impossible hero net these days. Feel free to check it out, man. Alright, so after this, all you gotta do is get one helipod, and this is even a necessity. But get one helipod all the way to raise rotors, and you're golden. Do I have every map maxed beaten? I do not. I'm not actually a professional BP6 player. Um, I'm an entertainer, man. I'm an entertainer. Whoa, 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 Decimator! Where you been, man? There was a huge Halloween update coming in here. Uh, lots of nerfs, lots of changes, new map going on here. A couple new achievements for us are unlocking. We're just about to unlock the new big balloons here. I'm really excited to show it off for you guys. Not big balloons, big towers for you guys. So, uh, we've got seven more rounds to go. Should look good, should look good. Oh, yeah, you don't play blues. All right, it's all good, man, it's all good. You just come in here for the, the party. That's all good. It's good, I guess. Everything's good. I don't know why I'm saying it's good so much, but it is. It's good. 
So yeah, don't use your free dart monkey on accident. You have to use only big towers, and that's it. So you got heli pellets, you've got Pat, you've got Churchill. Uh, I, th I, I don't know that uh, any of these guys count. I don't, probably, I think Super Monkey and Monkey Ace are probably good, but I'm just gonna stay away from them. I know for a fact these guys work, so that's what I've been using, a heli pellet and a Churchill, and you got the game. It's great on easy, because you can do a heli pellet start. You can't do a Churchill start on any game mode, but you can do a heli pellet start on easy, they have five dollars left, but you can easily get fifteen hundred bucks on a heli pallet uh, salary here, and uh, you got this covered. And there it is, round forty, taken down. Oh, look at this, chunky monkeys! That's what I like to see, man. I like my chunky monkeys dipped in chocolate here. All right, we're about to see it. So after you make that happen, again, quite simple, quite simple. All you gotta do is head out over here into the achievement section, and say collect. I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> thank you, B thank you, Ninja Kiwi, for making it say chunky instead of chunky. Okay, I love it. I love it. You can see we got it going for ourselves here, man. I feel like I'm the conqueror of the world. Big monkey towers. Big chunky monkey deliciousness. Now you might be saying, well, what the heck do I do now? How do I how do I get my big monkey towers in here, man? Settings. All right, we're going to go to the extra section. Now, there's four things that you can unlock. If you guys haven't unlocked these yet, you can feel free to check out my other hidden achievement videos. That's a great way to check to see where uh, where you can get all these unlocked. But you can do a combination. You can do small balloons and big monkey towers, and you can end up making the most ridiculous, most ridiculous uh, combination of, of things ever. Uh, let's do it. I mean, uh, let's just play a random map here. Let's do something at least reasonably difficult. I don't know. Uh, what do I not have a medal for yet? Um, let's do something. Let's do, like, uh, Peninsula on military only. Sell it! Thank you, my man. This is good. So now you guys are about to see it unlock. You guys are about to see it. By the way, you <laughs> that's the weirdest name ever. Salad. Just stripe. Just salad, man. Thank you. All right, let's get, oh my god, a Chunky Vengeful. That sounds, whoa, what? Look at him. He's huge. He's huge. The Chunky Submarine. Oh my god. And this is one of the smallest towers in the game. Look at tiny balloons. <laughs> I love it. That is dangerous. That is dangerous, man. Um, But I do. I, I, I love it. Look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. Chunky. Chunky. All right, so I'm going to end up going for a uh, Churchill here, even if I lose some lives in the process. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it on the easy side here, guys. Uh, sometimes it's worth it to just risk the lives or just say screw the lives just to make it easy on yourself for the rest of the game. That's the way I like to do it. Um, I used to be like that no lives lost like weirdo. You know, like I have to get no lives lost or else I'm a terrible player. I don't think that's true. Use every advantage you got. Make it easier on yourself, man. Uh, so, we're gonna see the darts. It looks like... I don't think they are bigger. I think it's just the tower itself. The projectiles do not look like they've changed at all. At least yet. Alright, so we're starting to lose some lives here. We got... Oh my god! Church Hill! Church Hill! Maybe those projectiles are a little bit bigger, man. It's hard to tell. I need to find a better tower to, uh, to kind of test this out. Vengeful Sun God on the entire screen. Oh my god. This just sounds fun. Now, one of the other things that I wanted to do for you guys today was I wanted to go and play uh, the new map, Cryptic. And I wanted to try to get a uh, Vengeful Temple on uh, on Cryptic in the spot right in the middle Squad, that, you know, emergency. is Cryptic. And I want to see if anything special happens, anything weird happens if we end up making that uh, uh, all take place. I don't know. I, I actually have no idea, but uh, maybe you guys know. Um, if anything weird happens, but I want to at least, I want to at least see, man, anything funky, anything fresh happening. All right, so we got, uh, don't know why I did this, but we're going for a heat-tipped dart sub here. We're probably going to end up going for some sort of, uh, ballistics missile combo or something like that. And, uh, we also want to pop a monkey ace in here for sure. For sure. But this is lead pop power, too, so don't forget about that. It's not that bad. It doesn't, what do you mean it doesn't work? It doesn't work, it doesn't give you anything special, or it just doesn't work? All right, you know, oh my, look at the monkey eyes. Oh my God, how big is the monkey eyes going to be? Oh my God, it's huge. Look at that, right in the middle of the screen. And the projectiles do look like they are bigger 
but I don't think they actually are bigger. It looks like everything is just going to, uh, that is freaking huge, dude. What happens when you get, like, a, a Spectre Spot. or something? Or not even a Spectre, uh, the big plane. Now that would be fancy, man. All right, we're going to go for a never miss targeting to start off the day here and kind of see how it goes. Hey, Nathan. Nathan Bops, thank you so much, man. You've never donated to a stream before. Oh, I'm so happy to be your first, man. We just broke your... Uh, we broke your virginity. Right. We didn't take it. We broke it. All right, we officially broke it today. Thank you so much, man. That's really, really kind of you. And you have 170 hours plus in BTD6. That's great. And I feel like I owe the game and its followers. Thank you so much, man. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. So nice of you. I really appreciate it. I hope hopefully that was a, a fantastic 170 hours. You actually about have uh, more hours than me. If you possibly subtract some of the weird things that I've done, like go late game for like five days in a row or something like that, because that definitely has happened. All right, we're gonna get the uh, rapid fire loads more darts. Once this guy gets machine guns, it's over. You got nothing. So look at all these projectiles, dude. We got bone shards flying all over the place. Thank you so much, man. That is wonderful. All right, don't forget, guys. One of the main rules of my stream is that if you spam, you get banned. All right. Don't do it. Oh, you're curious about the lemons. Well, we use these as safety lemons, guys. These are the best things to put in the back of the map. And you uh, protect the uh, the exit here. It's quite nice. By the way, oh my god, Decimator. I don't know how I missed you, dude. I like read it, but then I just didn't, I didn't see it. Welcome to the Extreme Club, or welcome back to the Extreme Club, man. Thank you so much. Unbelievably nice of you. Oh, you, you, the lemons! You, you guys don't know about the lemons? I'm ready. It's it's a lemon party up in here, right? Flying fortress. If I had the money for it, man, I would make it happen, dude. We might tr test it out in sandbox mode just to kind of see what happens. Oh, look at the Moab! Oh, look at this tiny little chumpsicle over here. Oh, we're gonna lose. No, we're not. No, we're not. I had nine thousand dollars. I need something else that can pop Moab class food. So we're going to throw down. <laughs> Look how big the heli pilot is. Whoop. There we go. Oh my god. He's huge. All right. Let's get him up over here. Let's let him go to town. Here, we're going to give him cam detection as well because I really don't have that much. The heli pilot takes up the entire screen here. I want to build like 65 heli pilots on the screen. Chunky monkey. Um, my best bet's probably, honestly, to go for a patch dark ship. He'll rock everything up to 60 here, no problem. But, uh, I could get a lot of other stuff. Dude, I love this. I really do love these monkeys, man. I might leave it on. I don't know. Uh, it'll probably get annoying eventually, but for right now, this is just really exciting. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Dying Dude, man. That's very nice of you to say. 69 helipouts. That sounds pretty exciting. Now, one weird thing about the tiny balloons, though, is it makes me not realize where the balloons are at. I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention to my giant towers, not to the balloons. <sighs> it's a little scary here. We gotta hope that we have enough balloon popping power for now. Place a sniper. Okay, here's a base sniper. Uh, nothing too special here. He just exists. Mortar's big. Oh my god, these guys are big, dude. These military monkeys. I think the subs are kind of fun. You can still, you can still put a bunch of subs next to each other. Like just, you can just pile them on top of each other, you know. The heli yeah, I guess that is kind of true. The heli just looks closer to, like, your face. That's kind of weird. All right, here we go. We're just going to go patch a guard chip. It's just the easy I'm way out. Yeah, like I said, make it easy on yourself. We're going to earn some monkey money. Earn some medals in here. All right. A Chinook just for its size. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go into sandbox mode really quick. Just kind of check out some of these towers and see what they look like. Um, then I do want to go into cryptic and I want to go for a vengeful temple uh, uh, and see what it looks like. We already have a big vengeful temple, by the way. Um, all right, don't trust me on dartling guns. Okay, this is all hypothetical, all a guess, not a known fact. But my guess is that they're going to release it before uh, Black Friday. Around Thanksgiving time. That's my guess. I don't know why. Just, I think so.
Uh, I really try to get back with the memberships, guys. At least I try. It's not really unbelievable or amazing or anything like that, but, you know, I, uh... I give you what little back that I can give, you know? Uh, especially the people that are extreme members. They have the ability to literally talk to me. Um... Uh... Not one-on-one, -on -one, but, like, in a, in a club, you know? Like, in our own little, little, cool club. Uh, I have not been playing very many other games lately. I play Kingdom Rush. I've been getting back into Age of Empires 3. Exciting, man. I don't even know why I keep making those noises, but I have been. Uh, and I just bought, uh, Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, because they were both on... I got one for free. PlayStation uh, Plus, and I got one on the cheap for uh, Halloween sale. So I paid three dollars for both of the Tomb Raiders. So I'm about to play Tomb Raider, guys. Kind of exciting. Oh my goodness gracious! So we did it. What do we get? Fifteen candies, four hundred twelve dollars. Amazing, easy peasy. All right, we gotta go check these guys out. So here we go more candies, man. I've been a candy man for sure these days. All right, let's check these guys out in sandbox. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we're just gonna go on Met Monkey Meadow. Nah, we'll play a, a map with some water. We'll go Winter Park. Easy sandbox. Let's check these guys out. So what do you guys want to see? Is there anything in particular that you're, like, really, really into? Alright, let's start with just a dart monkey. <laughs> oh my god. A dart monkey. There's a Churchill. Holy crap. Let's build one of everything. A taxi, or even a taxi. Look at that ridiculousness on the screen. Glue gutter, sniper, submarine, beautiful, buccaneer, beautiful. They're just on top of each other. Uh, we've got the monkey ace, uh, the uh, heli pilot, the mortar in the corner down here. We're going to go wizard. Ooh, he's a little small. He's a little bit small, or relatively small. Alchemist, druid, spike factory. Uh, farms barely fit, by the way. A village. Oh, that guy is beefy. A village, an engineer, and to finish it all off, we're going to go for that big, fat super monkey. There he is. The chunkiest super monkey. But this isn't all, guys. We get some big towers in here, man. The mortar in the corner here. What do you guys want to see? The biggest one? Biggest one. Ah, he didn't get that big. All right, that's okay. All right, let's try out a... And a uh, let's go for a Chinook. Support <laughs> Special Operations takes up half the screen, guys. Oh, my God. Half the screen here. Look at this chunky monkey. And then, oh, my God. All right, we're going to go for it. Let's see what this guy does. Spectre and the Flying Fortress. Look at the beef on that guy. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. It's literally half the screen. It just... It doesn't even move. It just rotates on a on a dime here. It literally, the middle part here doesn't even like move. Yep. That big, chunky. All right, we got to check out a couple of these other ones that are just really freaking weird. The tax zone's huge. I know what you guys want to see, man. Oh, the flagship carrier. Let's get beefy. <laughs> oh, and the the planes that come out are huge too. Look at that. Hilarious. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, the Marine. Great question. Let's drop our Marine here. He is. He's big, but he's nothing special. He's nothing crazy. Oh, I'm blocking the tax zone. Here, let me move out of the way for you guys for a quick second. There's the tax zone. I don't have my green screen on today. Um, I uh, don't really know why. I'm just too lazy to put it up. So it's not on today. All right, what you guys have all been waiting for. One last. Oh, 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 a phoenix. Wizard Lord Phoenix, there he is. Beautiful. How are the crates? Oh, I didn't get to see. You just pick stuff up and drag it around here. Phoenix Lord! Oh, beef-tastic. All right, what you've all been waiting for. Here he is. The Sun Avatar. The Sun Temple. Get ready for it. Do it, baby. Oh, my God. And the true Sun God. He doesn't even fit on the screen. 
He doesn't even fit on the screen, man. His head is off the charts. <laughs> off the wall. Holy crap. It's huge. That's what she said. Man, she says that all the time, right? Oh, doesn't she? It's huge. It's deliciously huge. The head was tiny for just a quick second here. And look at these planes, too. They're freaking ridiculous. All right, all right, all right, guys. We're done. We're done with this. What we're going to do is we're going to switch the balloons back to normal size for a second here. I've not shown Pat Busty off. That's true. I could show off Pat. Just go boop. Just quick Pat here. And then what I want to do is I want to play Cryptic for you guys. We're going to play it on, play it on medium just to get the, the metal. But I want to farm pretty hard here. All right, I want to get a... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I can't use Pat. I want to use... Uh, well... I'll just show them to you guys really quick. Uh, but I want to use Adora because I want to get a vengeful Adora as well. Oh, he is big. He is big. He's very big. Pat. Pat Smooth. All right, I got to see some smack attack action here. He's ten times the size of Moab. Oh, my God. Delicious. Delicious destruction action. He's just ceramics. See you later. Goodbye. Chunky monkeys. So uh, I will be making this uh, live stream into a video where I show you guys exactly what I did earlier. But if you want to, you can just go back to earlier in the live stream. It's not that hard um, uh, to do. All you got to do is play with big towers, beat 10 maps. It's as easy as that. All right. Oh, my God. I forgot to switch back to Adora. Oh. Adora. Where are you, Adora? No. What am I doing? Heroes. Adora. There she is. Embrace there she the is. There she blows. All right. Cryptic time. Medium. Why medium? I don't know. Just because. And we can't do an Adora start, but... Oh, my God. Look at that. Ha. We can't do an Adora start, but I think our Dart Monkey should work out good enough to start. We're going to pop in our Adora right here. And we have to think about what kind of towers we're going to put inside of here. Right? So remember, if you spam, you get banned. So if that's worth it for you, hey... It's fine by me, man. Chunktastic Adora here. We will have to possibly sell her. Um, we'll probably have to sell her uh, to fit our super monkey in here and get the temple going. Probably. Oh, you guys can't see my dart monkey. My dart monkey's in the bottom right corner, by the way. Sure, you can. If you uh, if you get banned, you can still watch. Um, the great thing about it is that you keep talking, but you don't realize that nobody else can see your chats. I know, I know. It's kind of awesome, actually. I can move with the heli Great idea, my friend. Great, 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 great idea. Why sell when you can be smart? I could, but I kind of want to get a vengeful temple right in the middle here. Uh, at least that's my plan, and I do have to get a lot of money in that case. A lot of money. We're talking about several hundred thousand dollars, man. Oh my god, I'm tired. Oh my god, look at these juicy, juice bananas. Oh, I never saw the farmer yet. Let's get a farmer going in here. <laughs> Alright, how about like that? Juicy. <coughs> My name is Chris. I am a very weird, weird streamer. I'm a weird person. Kind of goofy. Don't know why people like me, but they do. Oh, the lemons are in the way. I'm sorry. Let's move the lemons to the exits. Perfect. All right. So uh, now that we got that taken care of, let's get some more money flowing in here. I think the money... I tried to move the lemon. I tried to move the lemon. It didn't work. The lemon does not want to get clicked on. All right, the lemon's in the corner. We're good. We're good. We're dandy. We are fine. Eating a lemon. Do you guys like that? You guys like it when I eat lemons? I drank uh, two cups of lemon juice a couple weeks ago. 
That was a rough day, man. That was a really, really rough day. Probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done in my entire life. Well, thank you. Thank you. I try, I try, man. I try to be a little funny here and there. Make it Adora Lemonhead. All right. Adora, you can be my lemon girl here. Yeah, you can just shoot lemons out while you're at it. Shoot lemons, Adora. Shoot them. <laughs> she could just be a lemon. All right. Why don't we do it like that? Just, there we go. We've got the all-powerful lemon in the middle of the map. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be destroyed. Will always pop every balloon in existence. It's just the way the world is. One million subs, I know, would be fantastic, man. I'm rooting for it. Yes, I did, Decimator. I did do all 150 push-ups extra. I also did 200 squats that stream. Uh, I am unbelievable. I'm actually, I tried to do some squats yesterday to, like, get back in shape for you guys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention. All right, we need to get a little more defense up in here. We're not going to cut it with what we got. I think I'm going to go sub. Possibly nuclear sub camera section and stuff. That's my goal. Now, I should mention, uh, does this give you any real bonuses in the game? Does it actually make you better? Uh, and the answer is no. It does not make you better. Uh, it's the exact same amount of popping power, the exact same amount of uh, hitboxes before. It's all a visual change here. All right. So... <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to go for a submerged support. We're going to go for that quick nuclear stuff here. 2500 bucks, Pretty easy to, to afford. I think that'll kind of get us all the way through to round 40, no problem. We got camp protection. We got everything going. How big will the temple be? Who the, who the heck knows, man? It's going to be big. It's going to be juicy. And I want to get a vengeful, too. So uh, we got to make this happen. Now, i got to actually watch the farms because uh, the footprint is still the same. I don't know if I mentioned that, by the way. I gotta farm really, really hard here, though. To sell Adora? Lose. I'm not in the mood to lose, man. The true sun god's tiny range. It did look really, really tiny, didn't it? He's got a tiny little member, huh? So there is a lemon on the map. Uh, you know what? I think it's time to move. Let's get rid of the lemon for now. We're going to make him real tiny here. Just leave him right there. You guys know where the lemon's at? It's not a secret lemon. It's just, it just is a lemon. But it's pretty easy to find, actually. Um, <sighs> for any new people, they might not be able to find the lemon very easily. But for all the oldies, you guys know all about the lemons. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and uh, just get a singular monkey ace. That'll be my Moab popper here. I'm going to go one, two, three. He's in the corner so I can fit more banana farms. And I'm actually going to save up for a banana research facility. All right, I believe it's worth it. Oh, my God. Why is why are my towers so big? Whew. Where have you been, man? Big monkeys. Chunky monkeys. Chunky. Monkey. Do the chunky monkey dance with me, man. Chunky monkey. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about my defense. Uh, I may end up selling a farm to get that uh, fourth tier here. Because we're close. What are going to be the specs of Amanda's PC? So we haven't fully decided yet, but the basic idea is uh, I want it to be a, uh, a medium end gaming PC, basically. So. Uh, it's probably going to be something along the lines of, um, uh, probably like a six-core processor, like a Ryzen, um, 3600, 3600X or something like that. Um, hey, Oprah Wagfree, thank you. I'll press, press that little thank you button, that's amazing. Alright, thank you so much. That's nice of you. Um... Uh, it'll probably be, and again, this is all uh, just a guessing game right now. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but um, 
I gotta be careful here, because this really is not enough popping power long term, man. I mean, I'm re relying completely on my nuclear sub right now. He's doing everything. Adora is doing some stuff, but uh, against those ceramics and everything. Alright, so it's gonna be roughly $1,000 is kind of my budget. Um, at least if we can afford it. Uh, you know, with all you guys' donations and all your guys' help. That's what I'm rooting for. Um, uh, probably like a Ryzen 3600X. Uh, a decent motherboard. I've tried cheap motherboards before, and I've had uh, some sort of bad problems with them. Like, it sucks when everything is going good on your computer, but then eight months in, everything stops working. You're like, oh crap, what happened? And you have to rebuild your computer with a new motherboard. Or, I've even had a friend who, this was a while back, but he had uh, many of his stuff get fried because his motherboard was messed up. So, like, I don't buy low-end motherboards. I buy medium to high-end motherboards usually. Even though it is a little bit of a waste of money, I think it's worth it in the long run, you know? It's probably, like, at least 100 bucks on the motherboard. 110, 120, something like that. Um, she probably is going to want some sort of uh, smaller case. She likes the smaller things. I have a full tower. Uh, I might even get something smaller than a medium tower for her. Uh, kind of like a small uh, platform kind of thing. There we go. We're going to go for our third banana farm here. We're still struggling a little bit, by the way, guys. Again, Sub is doing everything for us. Everything. Uh, we've got to split this up, though. Let's get lit. At least we're going to get an Operation Tower Storm. I, mean, I think I'm going to go for a Sky Shredder, believe it or not. Uh, if I could afford it, I mean, that might be the best thing for me. Let's get that. Let's get the standard path here. This is a pretty good standard path tower. I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It's an angry, angry uh, nuclear sub here. Look at that, man. That's fancy. But I need more money, too. Let's get at least one more banana farm before I push on into uh, month, a sky shredder or something. Uh, I think probably just 16 gigs of RAM. I don't think I need 32. I currently have 32 in my computer, and I feel like it's overkill. So for like a regular computer, I see a lot of people are like, yeah, 32, you need it now. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing here, man? You need 32 gigs of RAM. I, I just I just don't see it. Uh, even in games, like, 32 is kind of a lot. Uh, oh my god, I had so much money built up. Woo. Jack Mag, thank you again, man. Have a, have a super good night. Oh no, have a good night, super. Oh, no, it's not a super good night. Okay, we're going to have a super good night nonetheless, man. Thank you so much. Lunchtime. Oh, man. I'm hungry myself. Hopefully your lunch is absolutely delicious, man. Thank you so much. Very pog. Pog indeed, my friends. There we go. All right, we're going Sky Shredder now. I want to try and get it before round 63. We're hoping that we can survive through round 60 as well. I think this monkey should be able to handle it. I think so. Uh, I'm at the very least rooting for it. Now, if we do end up losing, if I lose in a stupid way, I'm just going to continue. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Screw my monkey money. I don't care that much, but I really would like to get this Sky Shredder going. Uh, as far as storage goes, probably going to go with an M.2. Um, I think one terabyte's enough. I'm not, I used to do, in all of my builds, I used to do, oh, you know what? I need to get one regular hard drive and one SSD. And I'm realizing now, like, feel the light. Oh, 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 oh. I'm realizing now that... Oh, oh, oh. Free play! All right, we got 275 bucks for that. Nice. Not bad. I'm realizing now that the, the hard drives that I always did, it just causes more problems. I like just one drive now. Uh, for all of my future builds, I think even though I do a lot of video editing and stuff like that, I'm probably going to use only one drive. Uh, probably. So we go. Door is ready to go. We got the Sky Shredder ready to go. Beautiful! Now this is ridiculous, guys. Look at the Sky Shredder. It's freaking huge. The projectiles are huge. He's just obliterating everything on the screen, man. Whoo, baby. Have I figured out the secret on Encrypted? No, I haven't. What is the secret on Encrypted? Have you figured out the secret on Encrypted? I would love to hear it if you guys know anything about it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I was thinking that it had to do something with the Vengeful Temple, but I don't know for sure. One more banana farm. Well and I might be able to fit another one here. Maybe. There we go. We do get another one. Delicious. So money is not going to be too big of an issue for us. Uh, I've got, I think, six banana farms. It's kind of actually wild. It's like 
that's only like six banana farms in there, isn't it? Like, that's not really that many. I think I might save up for a fifth tier at this point, you know? The Banana Central is going to increase the money that all of my other banana farms make as well. So it's like sometimes worth it to just start saving up for it at some point. Uh, as far as graphics cards go, I don't know what the best bang for your rut buck graphics card is, but I'm guessing I'm probably going to go for something that's sort of low-key. Uh, a lot of people put a ton of money in their budget for a... Uh, uh, oh, we're losing crates. For the graphics card, I'm thinking probably like a 1660 or something like that. I was like, oh, well, let's get a third, let's get a, a 3000 series. That'll be amazing. Um, you know, I could do like a 3090 or something like that, or a 3070 or something like that. Uh, but uh, I looked up the price of like $500 at, at MSRP. Like, oh my god, it's, it's never gonna happen, man. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm, I can't even get one because I can't find one. Beyond that, though, five hundred dollars put in a, a, a computer that you know is cost a thousand. But you're wasting so much money on other other crap that you can get for better. Uh, I like to have a good, well-rounded computer. You don't want to go full out on the graphics card and then s suck it up with a CPU that sucks too much or something like that. So, same thing with AMD. I just don't need a seven hundred dollar processor. I don't need a five hundred dollar processor. Not a thousand dollar gaming rig, man. It's just not going to work. So, uh, I went with a. Uh, I think we're going to go with like a thirty-six hundred or something like that. 1660, uh, but this is for hers. This is her computer, not this is not my computer. I want to point that out. Uh, this is Amanda's computer. This is her work computer. It's gonna be a work slash game rig. It's gonna be like a multitasking type of deal. Oh, I mean that's a good question. AMD versus Intel. Uh, whatever has a better price. You know, it's it's whatever has a better value, really. Um, I don't. The cheapest thing's not necessarily the best. The most expensive thing's definitely not definitely not the best. And you just gotta find that good middle ground, you know. Find the right middle ground, and you'll be happy. Tell you that much. All right, we gotta go for a little bit more farming action in here. Uh, we're gonna go for a middle path, so we can end up using. That's graveyards. That's what I was getting in my way, man. All these things. All right, we're gonna go for a monkey. Thingamabob, we're gonna deposit some money, go for my Monkinomics, 100k again, guys, coming in here. You thought I was zoomed in? No, we are not zoomed in. This is the game. This is giant monkeys. Giga monkeys. All right, how we doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. Run around 77, still doing a great job here. Monkeynomics is coming up here. Give me some nomics. There it is. All right, we get monkey nomics. You definitely don't want to forget, though, about these two upgrades here. Boop, boop. They actually do help. In really, you think Intel is definitely better? You're an Intel fanboy. Uh, I, you know, that's actually kind of rare. I feel like there's a lot of AMD fanboys. Uh, but there's not very many Intel fanboys. Um, uh, I'm, I'm an I don't care. I'm, I'm an a whatever, whoever's making better products at the time kind of fanboy. Uh, uh, I very rarely stick with a certain company and just always use their products, you know? Uh, whatever works. All right, we just about lost there, man. I thought we were doing fantastic. We got a Sky Shredder. Uh, looks like we need to get a little bit more pop and power in here, though. We're going to go for a... Let's clean these guys up. One, two, three. We gotta make sure we're spending at least 50 grand on these things. So let's go for a wizard here. Uh, we'll get a f fireball monkey sensing wizard for now. That'll keep us in the game for sure. All right, we're gonna go like that and this and oh, I used it at the wrong time. <laughs> That's okay. It's not the end of the world or anything like that. But I meant to use it. At the other, t at the uh, other uh, rush of blues. All right, the camo blues, which were somewhat devastating, actually. All right, check this out, though. We're gonna go five, three, one, and that should obliterate these guys. No problemo, delicious. Ninth Gen I seven. That's fair. I mean, you know, like whoever likes. Whatever you like, man. I feel like uh, uh, with the new AMD uh, chips, though, it's hard to say Intel is better now. 
I, I can understand that you might like them, but I feel like it's hard to say, oh, well, they still have faster clock speeds, so they're better for gaming. I, I don't really see that anymore, man. It's like, oh, if you really think that they're better because... I, I, don't, I just don't get it. You know, they're, just, they're not better anymore. They're maybe equal at best, but usually they cost more for an equal thing. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go for the Wizard Lord Phoenix, because why the heck not? Uh, we need a primary monkey that's going to cost a lot of money, at least 50 grand here. So I think we got to go for the Moab Dom. Moab Dom. This guy, we're going to have to get up to an Energizer. And in addition, we're going to go for a Sniper. We're going to get this guy up to, uh, what, at least like tw almost 20 grand here. Um, that should be good enough. Let's do that. Fully auto rifle. And now, I, I don't know, maybe I'm hamstring myself, man. Maybe I need more money. What do you guys think? Oh, of course. I love Mexican food, man. I, I'm actually eating tacos right now, dude. Ooh, that's a good point. Joan of Arcadora. Uh, is that... So, it, has nobody ever figured out the secret here? That's, that's crazy. I wonder if there really is, like, a super-duper crazy secret of this map that nobody knows about yet. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be great of Ninja Kiwi to kind of see when it's finally going to get, you know, unlocked or whatever. All right, I'm going to waste it. I'm going to use my second banana farmer here because I think I do need more money, guys. Uh... This is going to have to be our last farm, I think, though. But as far as defense goes, we're, like, totally set. We're not losing any time soon. I am not worried about the lose. But I do need to make sure I get the Leap Defender here. And I do need a Support Monkey. So this is actually fantastic. I think you can get an extra large trap for the exact amount of money. Well large trap, me. All right. So we're all set to get a very, very powerful Temple. But we still want to make sure that we move our Adora out of the way for now. Um, so we can get a Super Monkey in here. Let's do that. So I'm forgetting to use Monkey Nomics and stuff. Uh, so we want to go for a Middle Path. Support Chudik. Oh, I love Mexican food, man. I, I mean, there's really not... Uh, for me, like, there's not that much Mexican food. It's like tacos, burritos. I'm sure there's more. But to me... That's all I really know about. I mean, like, when I think of Mexican food, I think of tacos and burritos. Like, that's about it. <laughs> is, that, is that weird? Is there more Mexican food? Is there? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being ignorant, but that's how I feel. Here we go. We're going to drop a door out of the way here. Drop a door out of the way. There we go. Chinooker. <laughs> all right. So we got a door over in the corner there now. Uh, we're going to build our super monkey. Hopefully he fits in here. All right, we got a super monkey in place. We're going to go for a one, two, three, and do we do it. So what do we want to do? we want to go epic range here or do we want to go knockback? I think we got to go for the range. Even if we – can we see through walls as a, t as a max temple? I think you can. I'm, you must be able to, man. It would be ridiculous if you can. All right, let's go for it. Temple time, baby. Let's do it in the middle of a, a round. I don't want to lose. Quesadillas, nachos. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but, I mean, that's pretty much like tacos again. It's just tacos without the meat kind of thing. <laughs> Almost. All right. All right, guys. Ready for this? Here's a temple. Here it is. I've got it covered. I've got my magic, my primary, my military, and my support towers all set up here. Uh, we need at least 50 grand of each of these guys, and then we're going to get a temple. But boom he can see through walls all right already is a temple I was a little afraid of that all right oh you think I should get the camera detection here all right let's see if we can fit a village in here I don't think you can um I don't think you can get a village close enough, can you? Um, that does kind of suck. 
All right, we're going to go camo. We're going to go camo detection on him. Ultra vision. We've got the camo detection on him. It does give him that tiny bit of range build, but think about where he's going to be shooting. All he needs to shoot is right here. So we got enough range for that. He can shoot here. He can shoot here. He can shoot here. And he can shoot all around him right here. So it's really not hurting us by having the, uh, uh, the lower range, you know? So here we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's see what we got going on here. Now we need to build it all back up again. But we have to be careful now. Because this time around... Getting up to that 50k is actually going to be mildly difficult. Oh no. I can't fit towers anymore. The footprint is too big. Kind of. Uh-oh. We gotta see, man. We gotta see. I gotta fit all four in here. Otherwise, I'm freaking screwed. Alright, we can get two. We can get two. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make it three. Let's make it three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three. 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 Where are you gonna go, little friend? Where are you going to go? Uh-oh. All right. Maybe. Just maybe. We're really pushing it here, guys. We're really pushing it now. There's three, and I need to fit for sure. I need to fit this guy somewhere. Um, that would be my fourth, but I really need more military monkey action somehow. Um, where else could I put a tower? In his range. Alright. We're going to sell this guy and this guy. Just to kind of see. And I'm going to get rid of this guy for now. Um, this is this could be rough, guys. This could be screwed. We could be screwed. Um, I'm really... I just need one more tower to fit, man. I don't know. I mean, because I didn't go for the long range... This is really screwing me up. I, I mean, I could re I could sell him for $100,000 and try over again. <sighs> you guys think we can get an aircraft carrier to pull some uh, towers in here? It's a possibility. It is a real possibility. I'm willing to give it a shot. But this could mean no Vengeful Temple for us. Um... So, it would be very close. It's definitely a possibility here. Uh, I, what sucks is I can't put a village on here. I would love to put a village on top of this thing. Whew, okay, so if we do that, though, that still leaves us with, I think, forcing us to do both this guy. Uh-oh. Because he's a large tower, I don't know where he fits anymore. It doesn't go there. Where does it actually go? What? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Where does it go? Here we go. Here we go. That's where it goes. All right. That's where it actually goes, though. All right. Let's see how much these are going to cost here. 48000 Oh, my God. I think we barely made it there. 48000 I think we barely made it there. 48,000! I think we're going to barely make it there as well. Oh my god. With the aircraft carrier, if he absorbs the aircraft carrier, we could, could be good. Um, because I still need some sort of sniper, uh, this guy is still too inexpensive. $32,000. That's not enough. Um, I need another military monkey in here, and this is where, like, it gets really freaking funky, guys. Because this is tactically where, where this is, we're on an aircraft carrier right now. It's still not expensive enough. It's still not expensive enough, man. Uh, this is tactically on the aircraft carrier right now. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, and even then, I mean, he's actually, I think the bottom path is more expensive than the top path. It's still like, even if you absorb that, it's going to be close. So that's around 100, though. Woo! All right, that actually went very well. Tip, it won't absorb the aircraft. I have a very strong feeling of that. I don't know what to do, though. Uh, all right, I got this wicked freaking idea here, boys. This wicked, wicked idea. All right? The most wicked idea of all freaking time. All right, we're going to try for it. We're going to get rid of this guy. Where would I... No, maybe it's not as wicked as I thought, dude. Okay. All right. We're pulling out a village play here. We're going to see if we can pull off something magical. Magical. We're going to be overclocking our village to increase his range and see if we can get to have our temple be powered up by a village. I don't think it's going to work, but I am rooting for myself. I am rooting for myself. Right now, as you can tell... What? Why does it say it's got the village buff? Does it have the village buff? What? What? Village buff? Village buff? Yes! Yes! Alright, bigger radius! For sure, that's a village buff right there! Oh my goodness gracious. We can go like that. We can go like this. We can increase even further. We can go even further, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get a jungle drums on it while we're at it. Boom, boom. And I think we might be good to go. You can see it is. It's going to get absorbed. It's going to get absorbed. going to get absorbed. Oh my god, we've got a real chance here, boys. It's not over yet, but we've got a real chance here. Beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe. You're absolutely right, Alex. Thank you, guys. I do read the chat there a little bit. Another sniper above the temple. I, yeah, we could try for it. I don't know if it's really a necessity, though. I mean, if he absorbs the other two snipers, we're for sure good. So, uh, tactically, it does say it's going to get absorbed. All right, let's give it an extra shot here, man. All right, how are we doing right now? We got $126,000, though. That is not enough money. We need a lot more money right now. We need another two hundred grand right now. So let's get, let's make sure we start clicking our abilities, guys. We need another about a million dollars. Five. Overclock our temple here. Uh, I do not have mods on right now. This is part of the game. Alright, is there anything else that I can get here? I could go for a bottom path banana farm, I think. Uh, give me some more money up in here. Monkey Street, that's good. Monkey Street with great production. Oh, don't worry. I remember. I remember. I know how to do it. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but I know how to do it. I cannot believe that this village is powering up my temple. That's ridiculous. Overclock banana farms, too. Ooh, that's kind of a good idea, man. Uh, I don't have enough time. Do I? Maybe I should. I should overclock my banana farm, shouldn't I? Overclock. Super overboost. Overdrive boost clock. I feel like I'm building a computer right now. You don't really like the mods. Well, the great thing about the mods is that you can turn them on or you can turn them off. You don't have to have them on. Great. All right, we got 200 grand right now. I still need about a million. It sucks. But this guy alone is going to cost me 500k. Not expensive. Uh... Go. I'm overclocking my farms right now. 
Still want to get that money flowing. I can sell my banana farm for some extra stuff. So don't forget, we gotta have, when we do this, all right, when we have the Vengeful Temple in here, what we've gotta do is we've gotta get rid, we've gotta keep these guys out of range. We're gonna have one and two. They need to be out of range of my temple, all right? That's very clear, very clear, very important. Uh, and what we can do is we can start upgrading these guys. Let's get one Legend of the Night. Oh my god, I still can't afford him. <sighs> these guys are pricey. Is my defense good enough for another 800,000? I think so. I think just one temple can go pretty far, man. 150, I think, without too many issues. So we're good on that guy. We gotta go for a, uh, a middle path as well. So we got a bad balloon coming out here to kind of just see where we're at. This is a bad balloon getting destroyed right here. If we can take that down like that, we're in good shape. And I get $10,000 every, like, minute or so extra on top of that. That's pretty freaking sexy. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, ooh, I also can get extra money from this. Look at that. That's nice, too. Moist, moist, moist. More overclocks coming in. I'm only t almost ten times overclocked on this big, fat banana farm right here. So there, there might be some lag for you guys, some visual lag. It's not my problem. It's YouTube's fault. YouTube has a very low bit rate that it actually allows you to stream on. It's something like 3,000 for a bit rate. It's freaking ridiculous. It's the, like you can't stream 1080p 60 frames per second with a lot of things going on with a low bit rate like that. But that's YouTube's thing. Uh, I get it. They want to make sure that everybody can watch even if they have crappy internet. But for the people who have good internet, it sucks, you know? So the balloons are, yeah, absolutely getting owned right now. All right, I'm still going strong here. We got uh, seven times overclocked. We're making a lot of money here. Well, all we got to do is get this guy going. anti balloon is set up now. All we need is another $350,000. If we sold everything, we could probably afford it right now. But I'm going to wait until at least around 125, I think. And then we might start selling everything to kind of get things going. In fact, what I want to do now is I want to keep on overclocking uh, my temple. Let's get him 10 times overclocked. So I believe that the temple does not have uh, uh, specters flying about because he is a support temple. Um, I should have only picked three out of the four and got 50 grand for him, but I picked four out of four. And I think when you do that, I hope at least, that when you do that, it just um, uh, picks one for you, you know? You're right, I don't have the answer. Now I do. <laughs> All right, still going strong here, boys. He's seven, eight times overclocked already, or overdrived. Man, this is going to be dangerous, guys. This is going to be really, really dangerous. Um... Right, one more overclock in order here. That's nine times overclock for that guy. Seven times, should be eight times for this guy, at least I thought. This is about to get really, really intense. We need to, like I said, I want to wait at least five more rounds before I officially make it all happen for you guys. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, I'm going to go full on vengeful temple for you guys on this super secret cryptic map here. We're gonna have Adora is up here in the corner, by the way. She is level 20. She will be a vengeful Adora. Uh, and we can move her about if we wish. Duh, oh, we don't need double cash, man. We can play with skills, skills ores. If there is a secret, we don't know if there's a secret. We don't know if this is a secret. But uh, if, if it's not, then we know for sure. If I don't get a vengeful though, I will be upset with myself. And I will end the stream. I'll write that in there. You guys feel like you're riding the potato right now? All right. That should be 10. Unless some... Um, Adora is pretty hot, though. I'm not going to lie. She's, she's pretty great. Great little, uh, little bang here. Yaporski! There he is, man. He's excited. He's pumped up for that vengeful sun god. I know. I'm excited, too, man. Thank you. So much. So, so much. 
And there it is. Full on ten times, no matter what. Thank you, thank you. You're the freaking best, dude. I like your name, by the way. You Porsky. It's like, it doesn't even... It, it, it sounds Polish, but I don't think it is. You Porsky. I'm Polish, by the way. So. I am about, uh... About 50% Polish, actually. Maybe a little less. Maybe a little more. Alright, let's overclock... I guess it doesn't really matter. None of the stuff I'm going to be using here. All right, we're going to we're going to turn off auto start here, and we're going to get ready for this, guys. We're going to beat 123. We're going to beat 124, and then before round 125 starts, that's when we're going to land it. All right, here we go. 124. This is the final round that we're going to save up, and then we're going to sell everything to make this happen. We're going to see if we can do it for you guys. Vengeful Temple time. Oh my God, get ready for it, dude. Get ready for how many people are watching right now? How many people? 290 people watching right now. Holy crap. Get ready for it. This is I do not have double cash. I have never used it. I can. I'm going to sell my extra farms here. Um, hopefully it works. I don't really need the money, you know, at this point. I thought I was going to be afraid of it, but it doesn't matter. All right, all right, here we go. Let's get rid of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, guys. Now, I still am not 100% certain that this is going to turn into a vengeful. I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid. I'm not sure I've got enough money invested in all these guys, but it looks like it should be the case. Uh, it looks like it should be the case. 50k in magic. 50k in primary. If he absorbs this guy, it's gotta be 50k in military. And then this guy was 50k in support, right? Because the bottom still costs... Yeah, oh yeah, easily. Easily. It was 48k for just this upgrade, plus 3,500. Easily 50k. Alright, it's gotta be good. Let's go for it. The true sun god, the vengeful god on Cryptic. Let's watch it happen. Yes! Vengeful! I but we... Oh, I didn't have a door in range. Oh, crap. She didn't turn vengeful. I grow restless. Alright, I quit. I quit. I'm out of here. All right, I'm just messing, guys. I'm just messing. But we do have to redo that. All right. <laughs> we do have to redo that. I actually want to move Adora in range here, so uh, we're going to make sure that that happens. Luckily, we can just press continue here, and everything is back to the way it should have been. All right. So we're still going to delete these guys. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. But i got to wait one more round before I make this happen, so I'm going to have to move Adora over inside of the range of this guy because he's not currently in the range. So, uh... Let's do that. Let's press go. Let's hope that we can still kill all these balloons. Hopefully. And we move it over in range. Hopefully all we have to do is move her over to like literally a tiny itty bitty bit here. Hoping that that's in range. It doesn't say. Of course it doesn't say. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We screwed it up. We screwed it up big time, boys. No! No! I knew it was a glitch. I knew it was a freaking problem. We screwed it up. The village is not affecting my sun god anymore. 
<laughs> no. No. I grow Why? Why? This is terrible. It was a glitch before. I was like, it shouldn't affect it, but it did. And then I screwed it up big time, boys. Big time. Big fat screw ups for Chris here. Mm, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my old school technique here and see if this is gonna work. Please don't spam. Please don't spam. Spam and get you banned. No matter what you're doing, get you banned. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can get this guy ten times overclocked. See if we can get him in range here. Really hoping. Like, really, really hoping. Could put the village on water. That would help. All right, that would. That would. But I'm too deep, man. I'm in too deep at this point. Oh my god, that's what, that's what he said. Alright, we got this though, we got this. Ten times overclock, we're getting close here. I'm running out, of, running out of energy, running out of steam. We're running out of popping power. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh, crap. There's six of them. Still no village power up here. Alright. Seven of them, no village power up. Permabrew the village. Does that that doesn't work? That doesn't work. Can't permabrew villages. Bad balloons are getting here on the map. They are pushing up. Okay, 129. Here's a seven. An eight. Still no good on our eight village power-ups. He's so close though. Please, please tell me that we can get there. Oh my god. This is the village that I'm powering up right here. This is the guy. The main man. Nine. Oh. I only have one more to go. You can't chunk villages. You can't move villages. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm very afraid. Why did we have to go with a glitch? All right, the last one. The last melon. One more thing we can do. Monkey City! Yes! Monkey City, baby! That's what we needed here. Gigantor Monkey City. We get it to happen. Adora, we can't tell if she's in range, though. That's what sucks here. Uh, but our temple's range is officially decently large here. Um, I might be able to pop her, like, over here and get her to work. So we're going to see if we can get that to happen. She could be in range where she currently is. Oh, it says she is in range. Perfect. All right. All right. All right, let's wait till the end of this round, and we're going to make it happen, boys. I think that's going to be good. We got him back in action here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm pumped now. I am pumped. I can't perma room. I can't get any towers close enough, man. Well, I guess I could sell them and rebuy them, I suppose. I suppose... Okay, here we go. Let's do it. One more Vengeful Temple with Adora in the range this time around. True Sun God. Let's go, baby. Vengeful my face up. What? I await the transformation. She's in range. She's level 20. She's Adora. She should become a vengeful Adora. We are famous. What? Get this.
us out of here, Ninja Kiwi. What you doing, man? This glitch is destroying my life. Destroying my life. Why? What do you mean not fully in range? It's in freaking range. There's no difference. It's either in range or out of range. In freaking range, man. I don't even know it had to be in range either. Go to the menu and come back. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go home. Let's see if, let's see if I've got a vengeful adora now. Vengeful, vengeful adora encrypted. Come on, be a vengeful door now. Because of the wall. Because of the wall. The wall is blocking upgrades now. Get get out of here. Get out of here with that. So how did he lost his village buff again? What the heck? And now Adora is out of range again. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. There's nothing I can do. Ninja Kiwi, give me Vent Wood for it. It's because of the wall. I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. He can throw things on the other side of the wall, it just doesn't matter. Look, this is where all my all my dark sun avatars show up, by the way. That's kind of funny. It's funny, they actually are regular size sun avatars now. That's actually kind of interesting. Don't use chunky monkeys. But it's it's already done is the problem. It's the chunky monkeys that broke it. It's totally the chunky monkeys just broke my game here, guys. All right, one thing we can do at this point is hopefully this works for us. We can throw this guy down somewhere over here. We can get a quick, uh-oh, uh here we go. And we can get a quick permabrew. Now this guy's permabrew, at least. Is he in range? He is villagified. He is vengeful buff, okay. All right, all right, we'll, we'll try turning up, but I don't think it's gonna matter. It doesn't, skins don't matter for vengeful Adora, do they? You don't, you don't need the Joan of Arcadora skin. You've never needed that. But even if, what happens if I turn it on? What happens if I turn that on and I turn off the Chunky Monkeys? The Vengeful True Sun Guide needs to be facing Adora if it's behind a wall. There's no way that's true. No way that's true. Do not believe it. She did change her skin. That is quite intriguing. Again, he lost his village thing. Very odd. Very, very odd. I think it's just a bug. I don't, I don't know what else it could be. Uh, I, I, I guess it could be the wall thing. That's the only thing I can think of that would, like, make any reasonable sense, like, at all. Um, but other than that, guys, it's just, it's screwed. It's screwed. It's glitched. It's broken. This, this, this is just, gets garbage. Adora was in range. 100% range. We had it for a fact. We saw the yellow, uh, face thing of a bob. That means it's in range. It's not like it needs to be closer, it's like it just needs to be in range. Problem is, you cannot get a Vengeful Temple in Sandbox mode, so uh, you are stuck. Just like this. Um, we're stuck. I mean, we could sell everything and start over again, but like... That's not what I want to do, dude. I guess my only other question is, can you fit Super Monkeys on this, on this military thing, this uh, magic thing at all? If I was able to get a Vengeful God on here 
that would be kind of cool. Because then I could put a door in the middle and that might end up working out really well or something like that. I, I don't know. Alright. Yeah, that makes sense. The village actually isn't right. The challenge editor works. Alright, maybe we'll give it a quick shot here. I don't know. I don't know. I never thought about that, though. Yeah, sandbox is different than the challenge editor. Could you not place Adora on the platform at the bottom? What platform at the bottom? So this is a primary platform. This is a military platform. You uh, you can't put heroes on those, as far as I understand. Um, it's just screwed. It's just screwed. Chunky monkeys, we cursed it, guys. We cursed it. Maybe this is the cryptic problem. Maybe uh, maybe you're not allowed to get a vegetable door unless you do something extra special. Maybe that's the problem. But it is what it is, my friends. All is as it should be. It was level 20. Indeed it was. She was. She was level 20. She had her, uh, she was in range. Uh, only thing I could see is possibly the wall thing, but that's just goofy as crap. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm definitely not retrying today. Today was supposed to be a short stream. We're already at an hour and 17 minutes, so I think that's what we're going to call it, guys. Uh, I'm going to let this run just for fun. You know what I'm going to let you guys do? I'm going to let you guys watch this without me. All right. Does anybody want to try that for me? Does anybody want to do exactly what I did in the uh, editor? Uh, with Adora out here and see if you get a vengeful Adora and I don't. Because that would be interesting to kind of test to see if the wall um, actually blocks it or not. But yeah, I, I, I gotta go, guys. I'm, my throat's starting to hurt again. I hate my throat sometimes. It's just stupid. Uh, but I am tired. I did want to do this short stream for you guys. Just end it, me lord. Oh. But don't you guys want to just watch it play in the late game? Maybe? Just for another... 20 minutes. Of course, thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. I didn't have the Joan of Arc skin, by the way. I had no skin on Adora today. Uh, technically, I could place Adora on the aircraft carrier. No, because the aircraft carrier was getting absorbed. All right. I, I will not end it. I'm going to let you guys watch for a few minutes if you guys want to sit here and chat and talk amongst yourselves. Uh, of course, thank you so much. I'm not going for a max round or anything like that. We're just going to see how far the benefit can get. I'm probably going to end this in about uh, 30 minutes to an hour. I'll come and check on it every once in a while. I'm going to see how it's going. But uh, this is the end, my friends. This is the end. Have some fun watching, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Goodbye. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm going to be streaming on Friday again for sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. Can you fit both a Super Monkey and an Adora at the same time on here? I don't think you can. But I'd have to check because if you put if you put Adora too close, I think she absor she kills him anyways because it takes up his footprint. It's like really weird, but I, I don't know. Um, we'll see it. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, have fun watching, or uh, I will see you guys on Friday. All right.
wowzers. We're still going strong, man. Well, maybe not strong. We're still going. Uh, two hundo. Huh. All is as it 
Ho, ho, tiddly he. Can't believe there's people still here. You guys are ridiculous. 227. That's actually right after I left last time. All right. Um, we did it. We survived for a long time. I'm not sure if it was worth it or not, but we did it nonetheless. Um, I'm heading out, though, obviously. Uh, I, uh, I'm surprised there's still some of you guys here. I guess you guys were just chilling or whatnot. Just had it open in the other screen. Um... I love you guys too. Uh, for all you guys who chilled out here, man, thank you guys for coming. This is what you were waiting for. Yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy, man. Cray, 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 cray. Anyways, I'm out. Uh, technically, one of the longest streams I've ever done. Technically speaking, but not really speaking. <laughs> kind of ridiculous that I've done streams longer than that, even though I left for like multiple hours. Um, but of course, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Friday. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful night.